Malky's story. I sold my wee boy's toys to pay for drugs. Malky flogged Lego for half a pay apiece. Skaggs his poison. Janie's story. I live rough on the streets in Norwich. Janie used to be a teacher. Now she's a bum with booze in her veins. Tristram's story. Uh, I started taking coke when I first became a hedge fund manager. Tristram missed out on his bonus last year. His dreams of a bigger house in tatters. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Thanks, Al, for putting you put your, your hands head. across Norfolk. 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 Mm. Mm. Bananas and cream. I can't beat it. OK, you're listening to Mid-Morning Masses. Today we're raising £3,000 or £3,300 for Norwich-based charity Action Addiction. Sorry, Addiction Action. Got some banana in my mouth. Swallow. <laughs> OK, uh, Simon, what's the tot up? Yeah, well, we're looking good. Um, we are already at 610 English pounds. Uh, put that in context for any listening addicts. Yep, that is roughly 150 pints of lager or 8 grams of Coke. And in terms of heroin? Just checking, I've asked one of the cleaners. Uh, the Scottish guy? Yeah. Yeah, good. And, hey, what a great bunch of listeners. I mean, I, I think I stepped on a hornet's nest last year when I suggested uh, Norwich was ready for a black town crier, but you cannot fault their generosity. OK, online now we have an addict who wishes to remain anonymous, uh, so we've disguised their voice. Hello, caller. What's your story? Um, I'm addicted to gambling. The sound guy said it'd be fine. I'm up to my eyes in debt. My marriage is in bits. I've lost my job selling wool in the market. Sorry, I'm getting quite emotional. It's, it's all right, mate. Take your time. So, your wife had left you? My husband. I'm a woman. Of course. Sorry, yes, of course, men don't sell wool. Listen, love, I think we're going to have to cut this short. The, the uh, voice distorter's bending your gender. It's, it's also making you sound like a, a villain from a faraway galaxy. C could you simply say, uh, soon your planet will be mine? Soon your planet will be mine. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to have to leave it there. OK. Wait till he is right behind your shoulder, uh, and then, you know, feign fear if it helps. Um, and then, if you feel the back of your arm, just the little knobbly bone there, you, what, if he's right up behind you, just oh, into his ribs, oh, in, into his ribs, oh, oh, and then bang, back of the hand and uh, bust his nose. I know when you were fooling around in the kitchen with um, uh, Jez before, it was just a bit, a bit of some foolery. But uh, I just thought when I saw you doing this and this, I just thought we, we got to talk. Anyway, that's it. It's twelve thirty, and we're joined by Derek Bosworth who's here to tell us all about uh, handheld, bellows-driven reed instruments. Sounds like a real wheeze. <laughs> uh, before that, some pledges on the text. We do have some pledges. Jed from Ipswich says he has a 10-year-old Mondeo 1.8. He wants 500 quid and will give 50 to the appeal. OK. Uh, Phil in Glanford says, leave Porsche drivers with red faces with my tweaked VW Golf. Reluctant sale due to baby. He wants 10 grand cash with 60 for charity. And one here from Dennis in Feltwell. 2012 Lexus GS. First to see will buy. No time wasters. Right. And uh, what's the donation? I don't think he said. OK. Uh, time for the weather. Weather update. Um, they're taking the piss.